All right, welcome to the MK Sabres Empire Strikes Back build. And uh, this is going to be the uh, kind of operational video instructions on how to operate the Empire Strikes build for MK Sabres. So uh, this is uh, one of my most complicated builds to date. Uh, it's a Graflex uh, 2.0 replica hilt. Uh, some of the features going from top to bottom is um, contact strip, accurate screws, blade retention screw with accurate uh, colored uh, Graflex button, accurate screw, mylar strip, uh, the accurate, accurate uh, pins, flat beer tab, accurate uh, button on this side, uh, accurate switch on this side. Uh, this kit uh, actually has a uh, a problem with the the bunny ears here. Um, uh, I'm going to be replacing that uh, once the hilt sells. So um, don't worry, that'll that'll be replaced. Um, but just for the demo to to show it, uh, um, this was the original bunny ears that came with it. But I've got a replacement set on order. <clears throat> so uh, and uh, accurate uh, on-off switch for the ESB build, Empire Strikes Back build. Got a red button, red button, circuit card, uh, the riveted uh, uh, grip uh, grip strips, D-bold uh, uh, cable, um, D-ring, uh, and I've actually done a Graflex uh, logo pommel on this one. Uh, the electronics in this, it's actually got a RGB, red... Uh, uh, Red, green, blue, um, tricree in it, so it has infinite blade colors, uh, as as well as uh, 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 infinite flash on clash colors. Um, Prism 4.0 Plector Labs card, crystal reveal, uh, Knights chassis. And so let's go through the operation of it. Uh, uh, 3200 uh, milliamp hour rechargeable battery. Uh, of course, with my builds, my goal is to have you know the most accurate and uh, um, you know hidden wires hidden things uh, so you don't see the electronics or the wires so to boot this hilt up we have to open it up you can open it up two ways through the uh, removing the the bottom of the hilt or you could uh, if you don't want to see the crystal reveal you actually can unscrew the bottom of the pommel and then get access to the SD card and on off switch but I'm gonna go do this um, by actually taking off the entire bottom of the pommel so you could do it that way but if you wanted to show somebody the crystal reveal you do that by um, opening up the clamp it's a rotating two full turns to open it then it unscrews now because on this build in the movie uh, Luke Skywalker actually activates the um, uh, lightsaber by pressing <laughs> the activation card here. Uh, I've actually made this both activate from this button and down here. And so what I'm going to do here is because it's designed to have the uh, uh, hilt together to work, I'm going to tighten this back up so I can show it functioning. I'll take that out. And so... Uh, the reason I did that is because this activation clamp actually has the uh, two micro switches in it. So there's a uh, micro switch at the top here for activation, and then there's a micro switch at the bottom for um, uh, the uh, um, alternate button, okay, uh, for the alt functions on, on the board. So here's the uh, Knight's Chassis, Goth 3D printed Knight's Chassis with uh, uh, MK Sabre's... Uh, um, uh, you know, uh, upgrades, uh, painting and such, um, brass rods, a little copper accent in there, real quartz crystal. I, I don't do the 3D printed crystals because that means that every saber is exactly the same. Uh, I don't like the 3D printed crystals. Uh, I prefer choosing a crystal. Uh, it's a little bit more canon that way, I guess you could say. Uh, so access to the SD card. <clears throat> I did not configure the rice port on here. Um, I'm actually working a project to do Bluetooth rice, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, <clears throat> but this one, just you, in order to make changes, you actually have to pop the SD card out, um, 
hook it up into your computer via uh, uh, you know a micro SD reader and then change the parameters. Charging port on off switch. So uh, to charge it, I've got a smart charger. You plug it in there. Uh, you can actually hear the boot sound. This is a kill key, so it will um, you know shut the saber off as well, you know so you can spin it in there and then actually spin it to where it boots up the saber. I've got an accent LED here. It actually hides a little bit of the circuit board, hides the prism a little bit, the prism board a little bit. It's really cool. It actually shines through the board so you can see it from both sides. As you will see, the accent LED is actually a slow rotate, and so it goes red, green, blue, and then actually goes all the colors in between. And it'll just keep doing that as long as the saber's powered on. I think it's going kind of to pink here, and then, and then a little whitish, and then an off green and stuff like that. Um, and so, um, and back to red, and it keeps, keeps just, it just keeps going uh, green, there you go, and it just keeps on doing that. Um, the crystal, now on my previous builds, you'll notice that as soon as you power it up, the crystal will be uh, powered up. But in this build, um, I wanted the crystal to match the blade color. Since we have an RGB infinite blade color, I wanted the crystal to match the blade color. And so there's an actual RGB um, uh, LED driving the crystal reveal. And so on this build, the crystal will only be on when the blade is powered up. And so I think I'm in the, the, the gray meat right now, and I think it's a green blade. And so when I power it on, you'll see the, the blade will be green, and then the crystal will be green. So there, again, there's two activation switches. It, you can activate it from the, the card or from the button. And so I'll activate it from the card. And this one's super loud, you see. Got a green, green crystal, green blade. If we wanted to change, now it's blue, blue crystal, blue blade. And I'm changing it by holding down activation and alt. It does a, does a change. Here we've got red, like an off green, like a light green, like a pink, uh, an orange. Actually, the orange doesn't come very well. I think I've underdriven or overdriven that red LED over here. Orange doesn't come out too red, too too well. Whoops! And I accidentally turned it off here. I want to get back to green here. And then, of course, with this board, you know, you got the swing sounds. Cool thing is, you got blaster deflect by tapping the alt. And you'll see that the blaster deflect is orange, which also does the crystal as well as the blade. There's also a lockup effect by holding down the alt. Oops, sorry. And then there's also a force effect, which you hold down the alt and then move the hilt. You see that. And that looks like a force push, as you can see. Very loud saber. Uh, like I say, you can turn it off even using this button. Because I did a double double button here. And a lot of the fun comes in um, when you actually put the blade in. Uh, so to put the blade in, there's a blade retention screw. Unloosen that. Pop out the accurate blade plug. Put in the blade. Screw that down. There you go. Some of the uh, effects here, much more on the screen. There is blade flicker here, but it doesn't show up on the camera very well. Another feature you can do is it has three sound fonts. You can change that by when the blade is off. Hold down the Alt. I don't know if I'm getting the button now. I think it may have moved. Here we go. And then that switches to the uh, next sound bank, which has a different color. This is a lower hum. Kind of hear that. Blaster deflect. And do it so you can see the crystal. I'm going to 
I'm actually gonna put the uh, I'm actually gonna put this back on because it works better that way. There we go. But a very nice saber. That's the functionality of it. Again, uh, double activation, alt, flash on clash, um, blaster deflect, and, uh, uh, and force push. Again, force push, we can hold down the alt. Yeah, that's choking somebody's neck. Um, a very fun saber. It's up on my Etsy store. And uh, um, there's the operation of an MK Sabres ESB.